People that haven't seen Supercross, uh, welcome. You're gonna you're gonna be in for a treat. I think uh, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of sports out there that are exciting. Um, in particular, when you start talking motorsports, um, you know, if it's car racing or it's street bike racing, you know, you kind of see them go past you at 200 plus miles, you know, kilometers an hour, uh, and then that's it. You see them for about 10 seconds. Uh, for us, we are in this big old fishbowl, what I like to call it. Um, you're going to see every inch of us battling elbow to elbow. Um, and I just think that you're going to see an excitement uh, at a whole new level. And, and whether you enjoy racing, um, we have that. And then they have the freestyle show. That's what I love about this particular event is it, it has a bit of everything, you know, like it's, it's all things motorcycle. Um, you know, whether it's dropping gates and, and the best dudes in the world, you know, battling for race wins or, or some of the best freestyle guys in the world doing tricks that even I look at and go, wow, that's crazy and insane and I would never ever want to do that. Um, but that's their chosen sport and they do it very, very well. Yeah, I think that it has, it has potential, you know, like I think that, uh, you know, the difficult part about it is, is, is how the strength of Supercross uh, and, and it being so heavily based in the U.S., um, you know, you're, you're having to, you're, you're having to change the model a little bit. And I, I whole, I solely, wholeheartedly believe in that Supercross should be a, a, a worldwide sport. You know, I look at, you know, my favorite sport outside of Supercross is MotoGP, and, you know, when you look at, you know, domestic road racing, whether it be Australia. America, um, Spain, Italy, uh, yeah, it's cool and it's whatever, but you can't compare it to MotoGP. Um, and of course, uh, Supercross in America is huge and it's that equivalent, um, but it's solely based there. And you got, you know, Ken Roxon from Germany, myself from Australia, the Lawrence brothers that grew up in Australia, um, you know, Marvin Muskin from France. So you, we have multi people from all over the world. and. And I think that we should be out there, you know, like these guys make pretty damn good money, you know, like those guys, the top guys are probably making around that three to four million. I think if you take it into a global sport, you can make those guys into the seven to nine, you know, million dollars. Um, if I'm a racer in my early years, uh, I'd be chasing something that has the potential to grow, not something that has a hard ceiling, which is what I see within the U.S. So, um, yeah, I hope it's successful. I hope that, you know, in a few years, uh, you know, when I'm watching it on TV or whatever, that it, it, that it succeeds to the level that I believe it should. Ah, message for Aussie fans. I think uh, I'm excited to be back. You know, I think that when I raced here in 2019, um, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a fair race for me. Um, you know, not only was I injured, uh, but it just was such a crazy, you know, overwhelming weekend. Um, and so for me to come back and, and you know, kind of come back in shape and, and be able to put on a show and try to, you know, try to do what I would say I've normally done, um, that's, that's what I'm excited about. You know, it's been a long time. And I think Australia has been deprived by that, you know, I think that you know, when you think of what's happened in the world over the last two years, Australia has probably been uh, one of the, the heaviest affected uh, by the ridiculousness. Um, so I think that, yeah, like I think it, it's going to be exciting for those guys to get a, you know, a, a, a Supercross event back that's, um, that's been missing for the last couple of years. You know, like when you start, lit, you know, you list off a lot of those riders and it's funny because I sit here today and it's like, for me, if I win, it's awesome. If I lose, it's still awesome. Uh, every one of those people, I have more race wins than all of them put together. Uh, so uh, where, where I sit and how I sit within the Supercross world, um, I mean, geez, I have, none of them have Supercross titles, so I have more than them all together as well. So, uh, but as, as far as accolades, uh, none of them threaten me, you know, like I'm not worried about any of them. They're all my friends. 
um, you know, in the pits, we'll probably have a good time. But when that gate drops, uh, I want to be competitive. I do, you know, even at 40 years old, like I want to come back and, and, and try to, like, I, I want to challenge myself. Like that's a personal goal is this is not a, hey, I'm coming back. I'm going to do a couple of races and it's a swan song. Like that's, that's long gone. You know, I'm two years retired. Like this is, I'm motivated to come back and actually genuinely be competitive. Can I be competitive? We'll see. Time will tell. Um, but I am, I'm excited. I, I actually am ready for some gate drops uh, and and to see you know see what I can do.